You think you can keep up with me? I don't think so. It's been about a month since I reviewed this game on the Xbox 360. Well, that was the opposite this of good. empty husk yes, of a video game. Unfortunately, in that short time, I managed to completely forget about it. That's a good thing about reviewing games. Yes, Every day, there's a new shot. stack to play, so it's easy to move on. Yes. Even from something as terrible as How to Train Your Dragon 2. But the thing is, like, subconsciously, it's always there. Deep in the recesses of your mind, it's there. Just waiting for the right time to strike. Usually it's in the form of a night terror. Or diarrhea. This time it's the other version. And holy sh**, it's worse than I remember. It's How to Train Your Dragon 2! I mean... This game sucks on a level that, like, very few games ever have, and I really mean that. You know, a lot of games suck. How to Train Your Dragon 2 belongs on the all-time list. This is like, I mean, it's like Superman 64 2014. It's that bad. Actually, the game's a lot like Superman 64, which, you know, th that's a mistake I thought no video game would ever make. It's like the plot to a bad horror movie. You know, the ones where everyone knows about the demon that killed everyone, but there's always that... You know, that punk kid who decides to open the tomb. Superman 64 is the demon. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is the punk kid. And you and I, were the hapless victims. <laughs> Take that! And you know the worst yes, part? Him, before the game, like, crushes your entire sense of being. Take the worst out, part is that it lies to you first. Like, it starts off by giving you a, a glimmer of hope. The game starts, and you're riding a dragon, flying over the ocean. You're told to shoot another dragon with your fiery dragon breath. And you think, up. wait a minute, this yes, could be fun. This could shot. be like Star Fox. Uh -huh. Only Star Dragon. Or I guess doing, Cloud Dragon, thing. since dragons yes. can't fly in space. Great Point shot. is, this f***ing could be Cloud Dragon. Then a couple minutes later, oh, you know what it is? It's f***ing Superman 64 2014. Down go. <laughs> All right, so how do I explain this? Uh... I guess this is a collection of like five games on one island and it's so much worse than it sounds because almost every goddamn game involves flying through rings. There's a race where you fly through rings. There's a game where you have to pick up sheep but you also have to fly through rings. In fact, there are so few differences between these games, honestly, I, I can't tell them apart. Seriously, there's, there's shooting vikings, there's picking up sheep, and then there's all these indistinguishable flight missions and guess what? They all involve flying through rings. It's like Pilot Wings' evil twin. F*** you, Wings. Ah! And you know, it'd be one thing if these games were playable. They are not. They are broken. This entire game is broken. Controls are shockingly bad. The AI is all over the place. But it's so much more than that. It's basic things. Like, the camera. The camera will just... sometimes just detach from you. You know, because who needs to see their character in a video game? There are technical problems, horrible graphics, bad music, but seriously, it feels unfinished. Like halfway into development, someone just stood up and said, you know, we're not going to make this any better, guys. This sucks. So everyone just went home and forgot about it, which you can sympathize with, but hey, next time you guys do that, don't forget to push the red button on your way out. It should say delete on it or history eraser or something. Point is, you don't just walk away and let something this awful do the same. Blow up the goddamn building! I mean, and it's just the one island. It's like one level, with games that barely work. You just fly around, you land on these perches that start mini-games, and, and they're all the same. And sometimes they give you a cup, like a series of missions to play for points. And no joke, the, honestly, these are some of the worst moments I've ever spent with a video game. Because most of the games, you guessed it, just flying through rings, you guys. I'd rather throw it through a black hole. But hey! Go watch our review of the Xbox 360 version to hear my very first reactions to this game. You know, I mean, this one's been fun, but th this is more like the nightmare that happens after the fact. You know, you're already scarred, now you're just reliving it. It's how to train your Dragon 2 for the PlayStation 3. I'm not saying it's the worst game ever, but easily top 50, maybe top 30. Hopefully I'll just forget about it again. Like, I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah. Mayday. Uh-oh, man.